Welcome to Trip History! A long time ago, in the land of dinosaurs and lions and shit, like 1,000 million years ago, there was a meteor. Killed all the dinosaurs. And for thousands of years, the dinosaurs were dead. But then a savior. And just when everyone thought all hope was lost, all dinosaurs were wiped off the planet. After everyone thought the deck, I mean, the dinosaurs died, out came a hero. That hero is me coming back to save the dinosaur deck, to bring dinos from the dead back alive. Some call me a hero, some call me a savior, some call me a god. I am actually all three. Rumor has it the dinosaurs extinct a long time ago, but that is false because I just brought them back to life. Utilizing this incredible trip gaming playmat in the description below I'm gonna show you guys right now why dinosaurs are the best deck in the game and how they put up five Negates every single turn six if you draw a nice hand through any hand trap hand trap me I dare you you just lose a card in your hand. You let me trust you for free sick. Thanks, bro Now I'm gonna show you guys why I brought back dinos from the dead Call me pen dino god Hey Trip God, how are you gonna break dinos when they've been around for so long, but they still suck? Plain and simple, the same way I broke pendulums. It's called having a brain. Something many of you don't. But if you're subscribed to me, as you should right now, go subscribe. You probably do have a brain, so you're now gonna witness greatness in action. Dinos are literally the best deck in the game. Hey Salaman Great, nice lady debug. Conductor? Oh, pass. So pay close attention for the greatness that is about to ensue. If you love dinos, don't forget to drop a like because this video right here is going to change the way you look at dinos forever. It is not normal dinos, it's dino dock. Forget the dino dick is what people say. Get the dino dock. Danger Orcas PK dinos. Time to show you guys greatness in action. Five negates every single turn. So here we are. All right, I'm going to literally be doing this completely live as I'm shooting this video, all right? So if my eyes are not to you guys, it is on my screen. Deal with it. Here we go. So, uh, what's going on? Okay, so I'm, I'm just dueling myself here. I have two accounts. Follow Pen, follow, add me as a friend, Pen God and Dueling Book. It's my other account. This is our hand here. This is our hand. Now, I look at this hand and think this hand actually sucks ass. It really sucks. To be a good hand, you want one danger. We played 21. You want to see one danger. So this is a typical hand you're going to see in a normal uh, dino deck, right? But this is really bad for us. It's really bad. You need one danger. You just need one danger. But... As you see here, the deck doesn't even need dangers to do it. You guys are on a budget. You don't typically need the dangers. You can even just use other extenders. But I'm going to show you guys why dinos are the best deck. We open literally zero danger cards, zero orcas cards, zero PK cards, all dinos. That's the worst hand. This is a shitty hand. But I'm not going to show you guys why this deck's insane. So we're going to simply go Armageddon Knight. Now, uh, this deck does a lot of stuff through hand traps. I'm going to show you guys later. But I'm going to pretend there are no hand traps. And then I'll show you in a later video how to play through hand traps. There's a lot of different ideas here. We can send the hard power here with the with the Armageddon Knight and go through our, our danger our Orcas plays, but I'm gonna show you guys something super cool on why this is the best deck in the game. And I'm not joking when I say this, nothing comes close. Obviously, pens are number one, but any version of Danger Orcas PK is the best deck. The secret is what secondary engine are you gonna throw in there? I showed you guys Shadal's Trick Stars. They were good. Shadal's are definitely the best at all of them, but the best deck in the game is Dinos with this engine because you literally summon, typically, this is also where we're going to send the Quadalus, get the Evolution Pill, right? The game plan behind this deck is simple. You have nine ways to go into Quadalus. You Dangerous, discard Quadalus, get Evolution Pill. Fucking broken. And six of those nine ways get you a free monster on board. It's over Raptor. Absolutely insane. And then the Evolution Pill brings out another Quadalus, a spell Trap Negate. And then when it destroys itself, you get another Evolution Pill for the next turn to bring out Conductor. And Conductor is literally the auto win against Salaman Grace. And uh, uh, so, so good against anything. We're going to keep it going here. So I'm going to show you guys a little sick combo here. Uh, all you need is just two monsters on board. So dangers are the easiest way to do it. But like I said, if you guys want a budget build, which I, I love. I know a lot of you guys uh, like budget decks. So I will happily do a budget build in the future if you guys like it. 
the dangers just make it so incredibly easy to do because everything's grave effects. That's why. Now, we said this through. Don't you need a second monster on board? I don't care about losing 4,000 life points because your opponent is not going to have a turn. Now, again, if we're thinking he might have a hand trap, we're going to do a different route here. If we're thinking there's a hand trap, we're going to go through an Orcus play instead. But this is just to show you guys, even through a shitty hand, this is the worst of hands. We're still going to have four or five negates depending on uh, what we draw eventually. But definitely four at the very least. So, I'll just put this bottom of the deck. We're going to go into our uh, Nightmare play where you summon Cerberus. This is why Orcus are so broken, especially with Dinos. Because as long as you can put two monsters on board without wasting your evolution pill, you need to play Gilosaurus. So, for example, we could have normal Obi Raptor, search Gilosaurus, special Gilosaurus. That's another amazing way to do it. We play Dangers instead. So, a budget version will be with the uh, Gilosaurus, where you would have normal Obi Raptor, special Gilosaurus, go into Nightmare Play, go, go into Orcas. Because the Orcas combo gives you a free level 4, and it gives you uh, two Fog Blades at the end, right? So, we go into Mermaid, uh, discarding something, we're going to discard the Obi Raptor. And then we're going to special out Orcas Nightmare. Uh, this deck's honestly just insane. Uh, oh my god. Like, I've. There's not enough amazing stuff I could say about this amazing deck. I absolutely love this deck. It's incredible. Now, we're going to go into the Orcas play. For those who don't know the Orcas play, do pay close attention here because this uh, is the best combo in the game. Just how Zodiacs. Remember when Zodiacs were splashable and everything? This is the exact same splashability. This is the new type of a splash, uh, power. Every deck, if you're not playing Danger Orcas PK in every single deck, you're doing something wrong. Uh, it, it's just the best variant. Now you gotta find, like I said, the secondary engine, which the secondary, it's like Infernoid Zoo back in the day. Uh, but now this engine is uh, Dinos, which is insane. I'll show you why. Uh, we're gonna continue with the Orcas combo, and I'm gonna show you guys something incredible. Uh, World Legacy Succession is also amazing in this deck. Uh, same with Metal Fusion, because you just discard it with a Nightmare at the end and get a free draw. So and you have to throw, throw some Pendulums in there, right? You can't play a deck without Pendulums, right? The Shadow one had the Dark Worms. Gotta throw some Metal Foes in here for my boy, Metal Foes Electrum. You just gotta do it. You gotta do it. There's some sauce behind every play you do, and that's definitely one of the sauce plays. So you said Horror, special out the Skeleton. And I'll stay tuned for the deck profile at the end. Don't worry, I'll explain it all in depth for you guys. We're gonna go into Summon Sork here. Just a typical Danger, or sorry, not Danger, the Orcas play. You're gonna banish the Skeleton, special this out. And I'm going to show you guys at the end how Conductor comes in. Again, you, you could summon, if you really wanted to, you could have Pill right off the top to bring in uh, Conductor. But Conductor is a light. And we don't want to bring on Conductor right away. We want to save the Conductor because we're going to put up Evil Storm Nightmare, which is two negates itself. Two Fog Blades, which is four negates. So monsters are irrelevant. And then, you can't see me. Just did that right there. And then you put up the uh, Quadalus to stop the Spell Trap. And then you destroy the Quadalus. You destroy the Quadalus to bring out evolution pill for the next turn to bring out another conductor so next turn if they're not clearing you through five negates which is two evil sort of nightmare negates two fog blades and the uh quadalus and fog blades bringing back rusty if they can't ulti so they're not ulti you through five negates and monsters coming back then you got double conductor dropping down on their ass plus the orcas nightmare is going to recycle itself uh so we're going to use summon source effect here use summon source effect first uh, i'd prefer that to get uh, uh ogre or something than galatea uh, so you bring out the World Wand. This deck's insane. Like, I've been featuring this deck for a reason. Uh, Danger Orca Speaking Match is the best deck in the game after pens. Pen videos will be coming shortly, but Dinos just break this deck even more to hold another level. We're now going to use Galatea's effect to bring back the level 3. You want the level 3 in the deck to eventually bring it back with Harp Horror. Uh, on the next turn, like I said, you want follow-ups, right? This is where you set the Orchestrated Return. Next, we're going to go into Rusty first. Because we don't want to draw into the Fog Blades or the any PK card. We're going to activate this effect. If anything gets Ash or Interrupted at any time, it doesn't matter. You still got multiple interruptions up. Uh, it just, again, like I said, it's this deck's insane. It's just insane. I don't have enough good words for this deck. It's just absolutely incredible. So we set the one Fog Blade. Banish the Boots, get the other Fog Blade in hand. So we got two negates here. Obviously here you go as a thought, but... As a thought's another, you can go as a thought, Quadalus, and Deco Talker extremely easily. Extremely easily. But uh, I just don't like it because so many people are playing Kaijus right now, Dankos. There's so many ways to play through as a thought that I'm not a big fan of as a thought. So I prefer negates because if they go Danko or something, you still got your negates up. So I prefer, uh, I'd prefer Fog Blades. Uh, they, I know Danko, they can get Fog Bladed as well, but then. You, still, you would have Evil Sword Nightmare and a Quadalus to stop it, right? So, uh, 
overall, I think it's just a better meta call. And Fog Blades give you so much utility going second as well. Uh, playing Fog Blades in your deck going second is also huge. I'm not joking. Not for their negate effect, but more so for the, but from their summon from Grave effect. It's just naturally really good. And uh, I, I, I like it a lot more than Azathoth, to be honest. Because it's so easily citable. As There's like 50 ways to clear Azathoth. And if they clear Azathoth, you lose. Uh, so next we're going to activate the draw 2 card. Orchestrated Return. Actually, before that, we're going to use World Legacy Succession. We're going to special summon uh, Overraptor. No, no, we're going to do that at the end. Because we're going to get Overraptor's effect. Uh, but we're going to do it at the end in case you see it draw Danger. We draw, draw Danger. We might want to uh, get a Qualys to our hand. And uh, we are going to need a, a Dino in the Grave anyway. So we're going to activate Orchestrated Return. We're going to send this to Grave Draw 2. Show you guys amazing combos here. And so we drew, so that's so far. Like, look, you look at all these pluses through a horrible hand, right? And now here's where you put up the negates. Uh, we're going to activate the World Legacy Succession. To special Overraptor. Overraptor effect. To send Quadalus to the graveyard. Because we're going to need another Dino in there anyways. And Quadalus is going to uh, get us Evolution Pill. Uh, we did hard draw one Evolution Pill. So typically you're not going to hard draw an Evolution Pill in a CC card deck. So this is how you always naturally just get the Evolution Pill. But... You're gonna, they're not going to see it coming for next turn. You have two Evolution Pills, so another one for next turn. And we're going to activate... Uh, so it's Effect will trigger. And now we're going to activate uh, World Wand to bring up Heart Porter. We could have also, at that point, we could have uh, Legacy Session, Armageddon Knight, and send Quadalus again. Uh, we could have summoned any one of them. It doesn't matter. But sending, we, the, really didn't matter which one we, we summoned. It would be the same result. We would go Evil Storm Nightmare. At this point, if you wanted to, if you're going second, you'd go rank three plays instead. Break Sword would pop, Rusty would pop a card from Break Sword, Break Sword would pop a card, and the Fog Blade would special the monster from Grave, which is why I like Fog Blades going second as well. And we're going to set the other Fog Blade. We're going to, we could have, oh, we could have put up another negate through Destrudo. Huh, is it worth it is the question. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys another play. We could have even put up another negate here. So uh, the one route here, the safe one, is just this. And then using Evolution Pill to banish some Quadalus, and you have five negates. So this is the one route. And I'm going to go back and show you guys another route. Just so you guys understand the theory behind the deck and uh, why it's so damn powerful. So here we would simply banish those two, bring a Quadalus, and save Conductor for next turn. And this would be your board through the normal route. With four cards in hand, look at that follow-up. Through a shit hand. Your hand was garbage. Orca's Trade Return gives you back two free cards, gives you all the, like, the Orca's cards are so incredibly remarkable. It gives you three negates and Evil Storm, well, two and a half negates. You just need a level four on board. It's ex extremely easy to do. Now, look at what we drew. This is insane. Uh, another option we could do here, another option, if you want one more negate on board, is, and I'm take it back a little bit, just so you guys see the other option. So, the other option would have been to put up a fifth negate on board, but losing cards in hand, and because next turn we could have put up two conductors and have Mare Mare. Uh, Yazi Mare Mare play, right? But, again, okay, another option. But we would use the Strudo. So, actually, we couldn't even do that option. But it would be to summon Boots on Field. And if you summon Boots on Field, uh, use Mothman to special itself. And then the Strudo special itself targeting the Boots. Making it a level 4. Evil uh, Rusty Effect will pop the Boots putting it in Grave. So, you can get back the other Fog Blade. And then you could go Boral Savage. So, you'd have Boral Savage, Quadalus. Uh, Boral Savage, Quadalus. Double Evil Storm Nightmare and two Fog Blades. That's six negates. So this was the board we have with the best follow-up in the game. Like, what are you going to do? Look at this. Like, what's any deck going to do to this? Nothing. Literally nothing. And again, look at our follow-up. Our follow-up is one Conductor, two Conductor, the entire... Or Quadalus, if you want. The entire Orcus play is recycled because Horror is engraved. And then we have Moth coming on field. With Yazi and Mare Mare still in deck. If that's not broken, I don't know what is. Dino has broke this deck. Uh, having Quadalus being dark. Having it, be, uh, having the dangers allowed to trigger Quadalus effect when it gets discarded. And getting uh, Evolution Pill just absolutely breaks this deck. And gives Danger, Dino, Orcus, PK a whole new outlook. Making Dinos, in my opinion, the best deck in the game. Absolutely number one best deck in the game. That hand was shit. And we still put up five negates with an evolution pill in hand, a conductor in hand, and a Yazi for next turn, and the whole Orcus engine. 
We could have put up another negate on there with the the, uh, the pseudo play and another conductor, but we're like, we got five. We're more than good. We got the best follow up in the game too. If that garbage had to begin with doesn't prove to you that this is the best deck in the game, I don't know what will. I don't know what will. This is the best deck in the game. This is not clickbait. This is not a drill after pendulums. Uh, I will show you guys the deck profile tomorrow just because this video is already nearing 17, 18 minutes. So I'm going to save the deck profile for tomorrow. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see the deck profile. I don't know if you guys love dinos or not. Let me know. I love this deck. It's absolutely insane. I firmly believe it's the best deck. It's very similar to the Shadal Danger Orcas PK uh, build I made, except I took the Shadals with the dinos. Any deck with Danger Orcas PK is the best deck in the game. Uh, with, but with dinos, it gives you a whole new edge. It's insane. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. And if you guys do enjoy it, let me know what you guys think of the intros as well. If you guys like the intros, I'll happily do more little skits for intros in the beginning. It's a lot really fun to do. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the video. And Dino Deck Profile coming tomorrow. See you guys then. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.